Assalamu alaikum students welcome to civil engineering tender my name is Faisal Bhir today we are starting another lecture of Autodesk Civil 3D so in this lecture we calculate complete quantity of road items okay so our sub first up topic is a draw road section and adjustment of band adjustment of section views compute cut fill material compute road material like pave 1 pave 2 base sub base sidewalk curve and barrier and last is a quantity table for cut fill and road items so in this section we cover all the things that is related to our road quantity okay so first of all we also make here sections then step by step we assign all type of quantities and step by step every thing will be covered in this lecture so you can also see the preview here we also first of all create its a section after that create tables for cut fill volume and also create tables for other material and you can also see here the material in tabular form so if you miss any of our previous lecture related to roads so no problem but this lecture is very important because i cover all type of quantity in one lecture so please concentrate in this lecture and if you are new so please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more latest updates so let's start so you can see here our computer screen so in the last lecture we discuss uh, how can we create section okay after that we create quantity for cut and fill but in this lecture we will cover all these things like uh, cut and fill quantity plus either road other material okay so if any person miss our previous lecture so no problem but this very important lecture related to quantity okay so in this lecture we will cover all type of quantity in one lecture okay so for that you can see here first of all we need to assign quantity for cut and fill for that you can see here so you can see here section okay this just click here and compute material here's one sign up track and calculator so just click here first of all select alignment this is our alignment and this is our sample line okay okay so you can see here compute material one window open so here cut and fill we need to select here earthwork okay so first of all existing ground we need to select here the one surface any surface and here surface Data will be our corridor okay so apply you can see our all material will be assigned here after that we will calculate all these things okay so you can see here see this white material this white material basically is our road okay road cut and fill okay see this one the earthwork portion can also see this one this is our earthwork portion see this one super elevation portion see this one now first of all we need to calculate quantity for earth birth after that we will show its other material okay so you can see now section and need to go add table okay first of all total volume and material volume first of all need to make total volume click here see this one cut and fill okay after that here now we need to select here 30 after that okay so you can see here our material see this one our material earthwork quantity because last time we will discuss earthwork how can we make this type of file okay after that we also want to make this type of small file with our section okay you can see here i want to make one small table of cut and fill in this side okay so for that click here right click Second view group property, just click here and you can see change band set after that change volume table. Okay, just click here after that you can see material and total volume. First of all, we need to select volume, add this one here after that vertical. Okay, apply then. Okay, so you can see here our small table will be attached to our section. Okay. Apply then okay. So you can see here is our small table. If you want to resize this table, so you can go here and just edit table style, you can change its value from here. Okay. After that, we need to make its other layers. Okay. For making other layers, this is a little bit uh, you can say concentrating point. So for that, click here, compute material okay after that now we need to assign new material 
because uh, you can see yeah, this is our surface okay and we just select here corridor shape our assembly like okay after that we need to select here you can see our all material corridor for road pave 1 pave 2 base sub base curb sidewalk and barrier so for that we need to select all these material in separately add new material okay first of all pave 1 pave 2 base sub base curb sidewalk and barrier so first of all i want to make new material here list 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay seven material so first of all we need to make here pave 1 okay for that write pave 1 after that pave 2 next will be base after that sub base next will be curb sidewalk and barrier okay so we need to select here curb c u r b curb next will be side walk and last will be barrier b r blur i r if you want to check spelling b a double r i r b a double r i r okay just need to small okay so this see this one so now the main point is that we need to select here material assign okay so for that this is our corridor okay see this one carefully p1 here we need to select structure because this is considered in road structure first of all we need to select all these structure material okay select this one here structure 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 and structure this is the first material method i am telling you p1 p2 base sub base first of all we need to assign all these things after that change quantity type structure okay this is our road structure so first of all click here click on this portion after that click here add from here okay next will be click here pave 2 select pave 2 in front of pave 2 now base select base and select here base add this one next will be sub base select here after that need to sub base okay after that curb curb so select here curb and plus this one curb okay after that sidewalk click here need to select here sidewalk add this one and last will be our barrier select barrier and need to select here barrier and plus okay you can see here our material pave one structure include our pave one material here see this one you can also check here pave 1 and pave 1 includes pave 2 pave 2 include base base sub base sub base sidewalk sidewalk barrier barrier okay curb curb okay include you must keep here structure okay no need to select this one it's very carefully okay so see this one structure so shape of style shape you can select here so if you want to select also shape of our corridor so for that pavement you need to select here pavement see this one pavement ok just select here click just close this one one by one after that close from here a little bit so you can see here pave one in material style shape our st structure of shape will be according to it's so, okay pave two select here pave two okay next will be base select here base next will be sub base select here sub base sub base this will sub base okay next will be sorry base this is base earthwork will be 
cutting and filling no need here pave 1 pave 2 base select here base after that sub base select here sub base this is a base okay next will be curve okay select here curve after that side walk select here side walk and select this one side walk okay the last will be our barrier okay select here barrier see this one barrier see this one pave one pave two base sub base side walk curve stone and barrier okay and this is our structure we already add all material okay now we need to select apply then okay so you can see here all type of material assign in our cross section so you can see here all type of material assign see this one this is our road structure this one road quantity okay and this is our this basically is the cut fill and this will be our road structure so we now calculate all these material in table so for that see this one you can see everywhere in full section see this one this white material will be our earthwork okay and the other material will be our road structure see this one barrier and everything you can see here so now we need to make it stable so first of all we need to make table in that shape for that just go here second and add table now we need to select a material volume okay just select this one next will be area and volume okay now select here grain truck road okay everything is okay material here see this one select a material now here same type material pave 1 pave 2 base sub base curve side back in barrier okay first we need to make pave 1 so for that we select here 30 okay after that you can see here now this table came like this one okay so you can see here name only material table we cannot we can't know how what is the material this one okay so for that we just select here just give name edit table a simple line method double click here after select this one we select here material name okay select this one and add from here okay next will be here just click different colors okay okay now we can see all type of name will be automatically attached with our list okay this is for pave one now next will be our add table material just select here material 2 and make here 30 30 if you want to make more than then our table will be straight one list okay but i want to make as a page size so for that click here now see this one this will be our pave 2 okay behind this one so that we can easily print on our page okay now this is our next material next will be our material volume pave 1 pave 2 now base okay select here 30 at the page size this will be our base okay so you also want to make this one so our next will be add table material volume and next will be our sub base okay select here 30 okay and see this one this is our sub base okay sub base so our next will be section and add this one material volume next will be our curve okay select here 30 after that this also will be can see our table this is our curve so next material will be our material volume side walk okay side walk we will see material of side walk see this one and last material will be here that is barrier okay Select here 30 after that okay 
you can see our variable okay see this one so all type of material table is ready after enter at enter we need to give it in some specific sequence like you see this one we want to make all this one in specific sequence for that click here select this one next will be our that type of table so next this one after that next will be this one here we need to select this one from here okay next will be this material and you can see this one. so you can easily print all these material uploads one by one on one of pages okay so if you want to make small small table with this section so it is very easy same method click here right click section view group property okay just click here and after that go in change volume table just click now you can see here last time just select here total volume now we need to select here material from add this one you can see our all material pave one pave two base sub base curve sidewalk and barrier okay just okay now we need to make here zero because we don't want to make gap between both table okay vertical okay apply then okay apply then okay so you can see here all table is ready so i want to make its size small so for that edit table and select here 1.75 same like previous 1.75 and 1.75 we also want to give here a specific name about road so for that road material road material material air station okay now select this one and just give different color yellow okay okay apply then okay so you can see here our table is ready see this one if you want to make its size a little bit more small so you can also do this one just click here and now update group layout click here you can also see all type of data will be adjust automatically in some specific sequence we can see here all section is ready here so now this section is ready for print so before printing we need to make some specific layout layout mean it's some specific pages okay so in the next section we will discuss how can we create pages for this section okay and for for plan profile production and for section okay so this is over the method of calculate total quantity in some specific tabular form for it separately print and after with our section okay so i hope you understand the lecture so i use here some easy method and you can see all type of quantity is arranged in better condition see this one this is the final shape of road and its quantity i hope this structure will be very helpful for you if you have any question related to this topic so please comments me in comments box and shall try my best to give you some suitable answer if you are new so please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more latest updates thanks for watching see you next video allah hafiz